Okay, I had this thought about um, there's a lot of small companies out there that are wanting to sell uh, or close up shop, you know. And I saw a reel where they're talking about construction companies where uh, the average age of a construction worker maybe 10 years ago was 32 and now it's 42. So there's not a lot of people getting back into construction. And I haven't looked at the data for uh, the waste industry, but I wonder if it's very similar to this um, same same metric where not a lot of young guys are getting into garbage. Doesn't mean there isn't young guys. So if you're listening to this and be like, hey, I'm 21 and I'm in garbage, that's great. But you're a minority. There's not a lot of you out there. So what you have is a lot of garbage companies, this is my theory, okay? So don't don't base your life decisions off of this data. But I am guessing that the average age of a garbage company owner is only going up. There's not a lot of young garbage company owners or guys that are young that are starting garbage companies. Um, they all want to be like YouTubers or uh, something that doesn't involve going out or they want to work from home. And I get that. There's days I like working from home. That being said, um, if a small garbage company or even a medium-sized garbage company wants to sell, a lot of people want to say the metric for a the value of a garbage company is how big it is. You know, how many customers does it have and how many trucks does it have? And maybe even what are the conditions of the trucks? And I would say that if you are a person, um, looking to sell your garbage company what I would recommend is get as much in order as far as um, having things routed having things on tablets and implementing software I think implementing software is one of the biggest things someone can do in order to prep their company to be sold because if you're gonna sell your company chances are you're selling it to a larger operation a lot of times those larger operations are like a national company like the Waste Connections, Waste Management, Republic, or GFL. Like there's these these big operations that will buy smaller mom and pop operations. And I know everyone has this opinion about like, you know, big corporate entities buying up the little ones. And I could have opinions about that too, but that's really not the point that I'm trying to make. The point I want to make is... Um, a lot of people think, well, I'll just have a whole bunch of customers and that'll increase the value of my company. And really the operation that once it's purchased, it's like a turnkey operation, it's ready to go or ready to be integrated into an existing system. Those are more valuable. You could have a garbage company that's half the size, that um, has uh, updated trucks, uh, has implemented software where customers can uh, text in or get receive texts. They have brand new carts. Their routes are routed, so all the uh, all the customers and their addresses are put in an order that can be checked off on a tablet, much like I am right now. And that operation is going to be more valuable than the one that would be you know, 20, 30, or 40% larger. Possibly even double. Gotta watch this guy, this telegraph, and he wants to pass. And uh, I don't know if he really appreciates that I'm stopping. Like you get these, yep, there we go. There they go. That's good. Um, so like there could be an operation that's double the size, but they have drivers that are kind of paid cash under the table. Um, they don't use a tablet or any sort of digital routing system. It's just like route sheets that are printed off every day. Um, and they got guys that when they run the route, they'll just grab everything in the neighborhood as opposed to like actually following a route. This is all stuff I've seen before. So they are grabbing stops that are not even uh, paying customers. You know, it's just, they put a, they had a cart once or they put out a pile of trash and this person and you know, whoever's running their out grabs whatever they see. That kind of operation is very, very hard to purchase 
Because once you negotiate the price uh, and purchase it, now you have a whole lot of work to do in order to like integrate all these customers into your system. And a lot of times, um, garbage routes that are being purchased, they want to automate them. Uh, so these small mom and pop operations, they might not have been like a side load operation. So what happens is you have a whole uh, customer base that they all need to get new carts and they all got to be trained on how to put those carts in. And then they got to be um, put into an efficient routing system because like I said, the person running it before never routed it or they just sent a truck out and picked up everything in the neighborhood. That is all very uh, unattractive to someone that wants to buy a company. And you know, you might be thinking, oh, is he saying he wants to sell Ace? And not, like, first of all, I don't own Ace. It's not my call. And no, it's not, it's not Ace's uh, agenda to be sold. Um, but what we want to do is make sure we're running a nice, smooth operation. Because we're going to be smaller than a lot of companies in this area. You know, you go 50 miles any direction, we'll, we'll definitely be one of the smaller ones. But um, we're going to be run very efficiently. And that has a lot of value. Not to be sold, it just has a lot of value in your day-to-day -day operation. That stop I just dumped, they used to have only one cart and they would have a pile out every week. Every week they would have extra. And so finally we, we stopped waiting for them to call and ask us to bring them a second cart. We just dropped it off, put a note on it and said, hey, just so you know, the extra cart comes at an additional charge, but we will not, not have to charge at all for having to clean up trash on the ground. Because it is more expensive for the driver to get out and clean up off the ground. Ugh. Those galvanized can, tin cans. I'm going to stop dumping those. So, anyway, yeah, anyway, so the point is back to the point. Um, whether you're looking to sell or not sell, it is, you have a lot of good arguments to like use software or technology to update your your company just to get it to run smoother because when you run it a little smoother and more efficiently you realize how much more time you save yourself because there's guys that don't do that and they just they rely on additional man hours or just uh, labor to pick up the slack or the shortcomings and I get it trying to implement technology or implement software is really hard to do you know once you get customers in, uh, onboarded into a uh, customer management system uh, and there's multiple ones in the industry that offer it uh, with garbage but if you have a system that can do billing or uh, put routes into a tablet so the driver just has to check them off and then he can do real-time uh, logging of notes so it's like hey when I dump this stop here and I hit picked up that time code is registered and sent to the computer at the office so when the office employee boots up the computer they'll be able to see exactly where I've been and what I've been doing since I started the route and then they'll have all the notes for like, hey, this person had extra trash out or this person didn't have it out. And someone calls in and says, hey, they missed my garbage. And it's like, well, he was there at 6.03 in the morning and he marked it not out. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't have it out. And then granted, there's still gonna be some moments where there's some discrepancies. Like it's not perfect. There's been times where, um, like I'll have one customer highlighted and then I'll have scrolled and looked at the next one. So when I hit picked up, it's actually hit picked up on the one that I have highlighted and not necessarily the one that I'm looking at, if that makes sense. So that has happened, uh, but not often. Usually this covers a lot of your, uh, a lot of your uh, bases. No 
Oh boy. What do we got going on here? Oh. Oh, it's just... How, how have I not noticed that? I thought that was like trash. It's all bushes around the mailbox. And that one's not out. Notice that one. This one. Recognize this one. 